Somebody love me now. When I was working here, they doubt. <laughs> they loved you then. They just never Thank knew what you, you were going to say. First standing ovation. Yeah, yeah no, I in think. In a long time. In a long time. <laughs> hey, you know what it's like in Chicago. You win a World Series, you win a championship. You're a legend here forever. Well, I, I it feel that way after I left. You know, now I'm coming back in town and, you know, I live here in Chicago. And uh, kind of love it, you know. Everybody miss me. Yeah, I was here. Yeah. Everybody, when I was here, everybody want me out of here. Now I'm, I'm not here. Everybody miss me. Yeah, so you are back here living. <laughs> yeah, I live in Chicago. Yes, so I live in uh, in Bucktown, North and but North and Walker. Where you live? Why not? I walk my dogs all the time there. Really? <laughs> Why not? I, I live right in the city. I don't have a like a parking garage. You don't I have bodyguards or anything? I got one behind me. It's my son. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> so does the wife like to have you at home now? I love it. Well, no, does she, she love it? <laughs> that's, the that, that's the reason I'm here. She's like, get out of here. No, well, you know what's funny? Because I think our life, it was like a, a mechanical life. Like every day is the same day, same thing. Now it's kind of different. You know, we wake up when we want. We travel every time we want. And oh, yeah. kind of, I play golf a little, little bit. That's why she, she loves it. Right. Yes, and like every time she goes, you, you're not playing golf today, it was raining. It's okay, you can get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, Oz, for more than half of your life, you have been at spring training. I mean, more than 30 years. It's got to be strange not being at spring training this past year. Well, this year, uh, I think my family, it make it easier because I was in Venezuela. You know what I mean? I, I wasn't in Venezuela for, say, I was 16. Then uh, my youngest kid playing baseball in college, I have opportunity to see him play, and I was a chance to, to be at the field, and I have a chance to be involved with baseball, different kind, but same way, and I travel a lot. You know I me, mean? I went to different places, but uh, if I miss it, yes, of course you miss it, but in the meanwhile, I think uh, I switch, put my switch on and off right away and make sure I'm not missing that much. I was yeah. gonna ask you about that switch. You know, sometimes it doesn't go on or off for you, does it? Well, it's a funny when I when I walking in, the, yeah. the the producer say, hey, "Remember, we're live. Yeah. yeah, don't curse." Yeah, I say, I ain't never curse. I do the live TV in the past. I never curse. Yeah, if I curse here, you might get a little rating. <laughs> Wait. Don't worry about it's it. Not it's not Don't worry about it's it. It's not tested. You've always been a guy, and I told Valdez, you're one of my favorite guys I've ever covered when I was a sportscaster. Do you because, remember him covering you? Of course. You? What yeah. kind of sportscaster was he? That's the reason he's here. <laughs> it's a big shot now. Yeah. yeah. Look big it. Shot. I'd rather be here than, you know, be in the clouds, seeing, you know, deal with those guys. So when yes. he asked the question, did you go, oh, this Shemarini guy, or were you, like, really in tune to well, what he asked? You know, I, I respect every media question. And I, I answer every media question. That's my yes. problem. Yes. But I answer so clear and so honest. Some people like it. Some people don't like it. But right. That's my job. And the thing, the thing about you is that you, you, you incorporate your personality, your humor into a lot of things. It's gotten you in some trouble in the past. And I know in, in Miami, and you've apologized profusely for the Fidel comments. But do you think that baseball and, and team owners are going to forgive you so that you can move forward? I know that you, know, you well, made the apology. You moved forward. But the, now, the thing about the problem in Miami was over propose, you know what I mean, because they never find out what I really say. If you read what I say in the, in, you know, inside the, the turn, it was very opposite what the guy put up in the, um, in the, in, 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 in the quote. what people read of the right. code. Mr. And what people was interviewing me, or what, I, you know, was interviewing me, I, I was crucified, yeah. right. being not guilty. I was sitting there like, well, the reason I apologize, two things. I'm from Venezuela, and I live in Miami, but my kids go to Miami, and there's a lot of Cuban friends. And besides that, you have to be dumb. I tell people, you have to be dumb to love Fidel. Mm -hmm. I don't right. think even Fidel loved himself. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and but I think they take over. No, not really. I think I hope baseball pay me or give back in the game just because what I know I want to do, just win baseball games. Where, sure. where do you want to work uh, if you had your choice? Where would you want to go? I'm fine where I am right now. Do you yeah. want to go back to the White Sox? Well, I, I don't know. If, <laughs> you if, think you if, could? If I say that, I, I always told my, my, one well, of my best friends in the game is a manager right now. Yeah. Yeah. If I say I want to go back to the White Sox, I slap in the face to Robin. Yeah. Right. Uh, whoever need me, I'm available. You're available. Yeah. <laughs> are, are you, are, would, you, would you be willing to not be a manager but to be a coach? Well, yeah, the situation is right, of course. You know, a lot of people ask me that about, you know, I mean, if, if you have a coach, would the manager going to feel uncomfortable? I say, no, no, because I coach before managing. When you have a job, because if you say, I don't want my coach backstabbing me to take my job, what I should do that to somebody else. Yeah, now, I got my money, I got my time, I got my experience. Uh, if I shouldn't 
to be coach that should be coach that's it and you know coach is more fun than manager yeah because coaches you don't have to deal with the media you don't have to deal with the players you don't have to deal with anything you just do your job go home and let the manager get the stress Right, yeah. Man, and that's an easy job. Plus, yeah, you yeah. still get a paycheck for three years from the Marlins. Well, right he, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that, that's really nice, huh? Well, you know, it's funny because that's the first year I never worked in last 33 years. Yeah. First year I'm not doing any much. I got three paychecks: one for the Marlins, one for the White Sox, and one from from, from the TV I work for. That's bad. nice. Yeah, that's right. Look at this coat. <laughs> Yeah. Life is good. And so far. <laughs> and, and Ozzy, almost like George Foreman, now your, your kids, Ozzy Jr., Ozni, and Oni. Were you, were you doing all of the naming in the family? Well, it, it's, I talk very quick this. Uh, Ozzy is born. One of the songs we go to Venezuela, and, uh, and Ozzy got a little friend. And I thought my kids were kind of crazy because he's talking with this somebody there. And I said, so Who are you talking to? My friend Oni. We're in the car, and he said, Daddy can only go with us. Who is Oni? Yeah. Imaginary man, friend. Man, that, well, that was that, imaginary. Yes, imaginary friend. All the son, Oni's born, and that's why that's the reason we made home Oni. Oh, that's cute. And and when Osney born, he's supposed to be a girl, and we don't have any name for the boy. Then oh. while my wife was in the room, it's a boy. One name we got to put on Osney. Well, I just put it there and just put it O Z N E Y. <laughs> And that's the reason we do it. Very, and my wife wake up and say, uh, "How you? What, what name is Osne?" <laughs> then my my wife, grandma, calling number one, number two, and number three because she forgot the names. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, you talk about your wife, and you've been known to say how hot your wife is. Oh, right? she's very hot. Is she? <laughs> that's awesome. Well, how many years you been married? I've been married. I don't know, I forgot. 30, <laughs> 30 something years. Oh, there you go. You better go buy a gift after the show. No, she's okay. fine. No, 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 no. It's just. So you think she's just as hot today as she was the day you met her? I think it's harder. She's hotter. She's hotter. You know why? Because when I met him, when I met him, she was 16. Now she had three kids. She's 29. And I feel proud every time I walk to her and the guy take a look at her like, yeah, look at what I got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, I told my wife, a lot of competition in the streets. Oh, a oh, lot of company. Yeah, you, you better keep it, keep it, keep it. Oh, yeah. Keep, 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 yeah. You better stay on. Oh, yeah. Well, well, well now, now that you're not managing, you look like you're still in good shape. Are you been hitting the gym? Do you you stay fit? Do you guys work out together? I don't do much. My wife does. Yeah. My, you know me. My wife, uh, she, you know, try to keep up with her body and make sure. She told my kids, I lift in weight not to look good, just to kick your butt. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a uh, no. I just, I, I think I, I, I not drink that much. When yeah. you're, you're a manager, yeah. you dream because you're happy, you celebrate the game, yeah. you win, and you dream because you're sad because we lose three. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, my, my eating habits are a little better, too. Yeah. You know, yeah. you're in the ballpark all day, you eat whatever is come through. And, yeah. uh, I, I think the easy life, I never had this life before right. in my life, you know what I mean, first time ever. It sounds like you kind of like it. it. I kind of love it, you know yes. what I mean? Just but you're fun. doing some TV stuff right now. Yeah, I do TV yes. Sunday, ESPN. ESPN Sundays and Mondays, they want me to do a little bit more, but I want to have a little time with my family. Yeah. But oh. so far, my wife's been great. <laughs> yeah. The soon she not do it what she put to do, I'm, I'm back to the field. Yeah, I think, I think you're allowed to handle at home. I think you're allowed to handle. You know, you know um, Chicago and the White Sox will always be synonymous with Don't Stop Believing" by Journey. Every, everybody yeah. knows that song. When they hear it, they love it. I, I do love it, too. Yeah. Now. I do love it now because it gives me a very nice... Uh, memories. Memories and beautiful memories. But in that time, I hate that guy. <laughs> You hated Steve you Perry? Like, the little guy. You know, I mean, he's just always in the clubhouse and they play the song every day. Yeah. I was happy because every time we win, the song it was on. Yeah. Right. But all of a sudden, these guys everywhere, he, like a, he, was, he looked like a groupie. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he like he, every, AJ and, and Joe Creedy, all those guys bring this guy because they believe having this guy on the team, oh, they're well, winning. Good luck. And With good luck. I said, well, you know, I don't mind. One time I said, who's this little guy that's on the clubhouse every day? Yeah. Get him out of here. I said, no, this is so-and-so. I said, I don't care. He's not Latino. I like Latino music. Get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, he proved to be good luck. So yes, he was. He was a great luck. He was great oh, luck. Was great luck. Well, don't you go anywhere. Stay with us. You know he's going to be right back. We're not done talking to him. We'll be right back. <laughs> right now and you know I think we've all proven the point that you never know what he's gonna say so uh, let's talk about
about though, the fundraiser? You're in town for a fundraiser, your very first stone, right? Well, yes, my favorite is on because uh, we did it through the White Sox and through some people. Now, finally, we, we have the right to have the Arm Foundation. You know what I mean? Starting something legally in this country is very hard. This is why people do a lot of illegal things. Yeah. <laughs> it takes two years to, you know, I mean, you, when you get involved with money and taxes and other stuff, yeah, yeah. they check your background very, very well. Now, this is our first uh, fundraising we're going to do in, in, with our own company, in our own people. Foundation. Yeah. And I know you started this foundation 15 years ago with your wife. What, what is the mission and who is this, does this serve? Well, uh, here in Chicago right now, uh, we do in Venezuela for uh, kids with cancer. Mm. We start with them and uh, kids with unprivileged kids in Venezuela. Now so many. Wow, we couldn't control that. Now we move back to Chicago and uh, we're doing now, right now, we start with the autism, kids with autism. Oh, okay. And we're going to help a, a, a school in this, this one is going to be a school in, in Southside yeah. with kids with autism. They need that. And, uh, we got to start with this. So Nina this. Chantel, our own Nina Chantel is going to be hosting your event tonight at the grid. What's going to happen specifically tonight? Have fun. Going to have fun? Have fun. That's all I do. That's, uh, you know, I told my kids, because this is all family thing. This is not a company. We got a people. Not that. It's all family and friends. Just make sure people have fun and spend some money. Just make sure they drink a little bit and they'll be signing. Uh, they, open bar? No, yes, open, open bar, bar oh. free food. Oh. Very, very cheap. It, it's going to be in the grid. But the thing I told the kids is make sure you talk to the girls. Make sure why? Because the girls are the ones that spend. Because the girls they, are the ones. Oh, that they want to say yes or no, because the husband go, oh, I want that piece. No, nope, you're not gonna get that. Okay, he don't whine. Sooner or later, she say, okay, go get it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> the girls is great for side I'm telling you, I'm saying it. Yeah, the girls is the key. Oh, the woman, the wife is the key when you want to make money in silent auction. And they, they, the woman's well, always. Everything. Yes. Everything. And then and, and I say, hey, this, this soon she walk in, make sure you're nice wear. Here's a glass of wine, here's a glass of water for the husband. <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy, thank you so much. Come back and see us again, okay? Hey, invite me. Uh, anytime. <laughs> thank you. Thank Ozzy you Gian. The Ozzy Guillen Foundation event is tonight at the grid. For more information, go to our website. We have it all there. Okay.